back in tune. Uh, but this is a great time to just refocus your energy and your time. So let's do it. Okay, first things first, we're going to swing the arms, okay? And I'm just moving around. We're swinging the arms. And um, how is your day going, you guys? So far, my day is going pretty well. It is a beautiful day outside. You know, it's just life. So let's keep it moving. We're gonna go and do a windmill with my one arm, okay? Just getting that blood flowing, getting that blood circulating. Here we are. And go back. And if you can notice, I'm just moving around, it's fine. We're here, moving, 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 okay? All right, other way, other arm. Dun, 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 dun. All right. Here's a question for you guys. Let's go the other way. And here's my question. How often do you find yourself locking your knees? How often do you find yourself locking your knees? I want to know. Because when you lock your knees, you're actually cutting off circulation of breath. You actually end up shorting your breath. So make sure, loosen your knees, bounce your knees a little bit, okay? So I'm going back the other way. Let's see if we can do both. Forwards and backwards. Okay, all right. All right, that's good for the shoulders. Let's get our sides in. So let's stretch this way. Make sure your shoulders align going down to the floor. And don't push your hip out. We're staying here, still staying centered. And come up, switch arms into the other side. Now if you want to make a deeper stretch and give yourself a little bit of a push, you'll put both hands up and go to the other side. Come up and go to the other side. All right, I don't know about you, but I feel like being like SpongeBob. Let's bring it around town. This is a great stretch for your hips. Let's go the other way. And make sure you're not locking your knees, okay? Awesome, awesome. Okay, let's move from side to side. Just get, wake our feet up, so. Kind of a dance, kind of just a movement. It's fine, we're here, it's a great time, okay? Okay, awesome, awesome, awesome. Waking my feet up, let's bring the knees up. You can see I'm here, I'm not pushing my back out. I'm here straight, bring my knee up. Knee to the chest as much as you can and make sure you're breathing. And switch legs. Whew. Okay, great. Now we're gonna uh, do the opposite now. So we were bringing our knees up, we're gonna pull the knee back. Ankle back, excuse me. So if I can scooch back a little bit here, going by the wall so you can see I'm fully pulling my leg back here. All right. Awesome. Release and switch legs. Okay. Here. This feels really nice. Because you guys, that run, it was great. But when you're running on concrete, sometimes um, the impact of you running on such a hard surface, sorry, surface can um, really just kind of mess your knees up. Wear good sneakers. But also, I don't want shin splints. So what I'm gonna do is maybe I should move you down a little bit so you can see what I'm about to do, okay? So remember, I said I was doing upper body and lower body. So what I'm doing now, I'm taking my feet forward, one here, so heel toe, heel, and I'm going back, okay? This is a great stretch for the back of the hamstrings. So doing that right now, 
hands on my hips. Rock forward and come back. Rock forward and come back. This is the last one. Then we're going to switch legs. And up, go back. Down. And rock forward. Back. And come forward. And back. Last one. And we're done here. So let's come to um, go to facing front. We're going to do some rotations with the foot. And we want all of our body to be nice and limber. Switch legs, switch feet. Right, right. Go the other way if you haven't. I know I didn't go the other way with this one, so I'm going to do that. Let's do that with our hands. You guys can't hear it, and if you can, I'm sorry, my wrists are clicking. All right, bring the fingers forward, interlace the fingers, and press out. <sighs> Don't forget to breathe. Don't forget to bend your knees so they're not locked. I have a tendency to actually lock my knees so I have to tell myself that pretty often. Hey, stay center. Don't lock your knees. Don't lock your knees. Okay? Bring your hands above your head. Do the same thing. We're here. Still interlacing the fingers. And bring your arms a little back. See if you can press it back a little bit. You can see how I'm going here. And if you feel yourself going a little too far back and you're putting tension on your lower back, bring yourself up a little bit more and lift from your sternum as you arch back. And don't lock your knees like I just was doing. All right, I'm bringing you guys back up. So we're going back to our head, okay? So we're going to take the head Oh, wow, I just heard a little crick there. Okay, so we're going to take the head this way and down, left, and up, and back the other way, and down, and right, and up. Awesome. Let's do some circles instead of just the directionals here. So rolling the head and the other way. And the other way back, excuse me, sorry. And this way. All right, let's turn, do some isolations. You guys remember that? Right, center, left center, right, center, left, center, down, center, up, center, down, center, up, center, ear, center, left ear, center, ear, center, left, center, one more time, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Awesome, let's do some twists. Don't forget to unlock your knees. I'm talking to me as well. Deep breaths. All right, so now as we're twisting, we're gonna bring our foot into this action. So as I twist, this comes with me and I come back and I go the same way in the opposite direction, okay? And I'm not pulling here. This just helps me with my rotation, keeps me Focus in the center. Uh-huh. I really do like this stretch as a standing twist. And you can have your arms out anyway. It just kind of feels awkward when you do it this way, right? 
plus one. All right, great. So now feet uh, further far apart, further apart. I'm going to go from side to side. One, it's going to, you're going to go up to the other side. Up. So we've already done this, this action before. So what's different is we're turning this way, folding forward. Your feet are still parallel to the front. You're still parallel and center. So you're turning this way in the twist, folding over, taking that deep breath. You can put your hands out. You can put your hand down on your foot, your foot or your ankle. I'm going to keep my hands here on my hips. Come back up. Switch, other way, and down, okay? Great, up we go, and twist one more time. And up, and fold forward, and up, okay? Awesome, okay, cool. So what we're gonna do next, some hands, hand stretches. So here, fully spread your fingers out. Yup, fully spread those fingers out. Now bring them into a fist. Mm -hmm. And again, and back in. Mm -hmm. And out, and back in. Mm -hmm. And out, and back in. And out, and back in. And out. And back in. Okay, let's do it faster. Hey, we're going faster. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're going faster. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're going faster. Now stop. Shake it out. Would you believe I just had my wrists click just now? Shake it. Let your arms shake out. Shoulders. Head, knees, feet. All right, you guys, so we did our upper body and our lower body as like a nice little warm up into our stretch. Let's, I know I said we weren't gonna do anything on the floor, but I feel led today. So what we're gonna do is feet in front of you, okay? We're here and we're going to point, pull the feet forward, point the feet and we're folding over, grabbing the ankles and not a heavy pull down. We're just bringing the chest a little closer to your thighs. And I don't, and I say thighs and not your knee because I don't want you to pull so, so much that you're out and pulling out of alignment. So think chest to thighs, okay? Don't forget to breathe. I'm talking to me and to you. And up. All right, right leg goes over the left leg. Left arm goes over the right knee. Right arm goes behind as I stretch away from you guys. It's a deeper twist, we've done this before, right? And you see how I wanted to make this tent with my hand? You can do that, just be mindful that you don't then start to bend, bend your elbow. So we're pushing in so that we're not keeping anything crazy. So uh, what I end up doing is switching so it's a palm, right? I'm bringing it closer to me. So that way when I stretch and when I twist, nothing feels awkward. You know, it's already awkward enough that we're twisting the whole body. Switch legs, left leg goes over right leg, right arm goes over left knee, left hand goes behind, and we twist forward. If you want to look back, it's a great way to maintain that you're having your twist. And breathe, breathe. Okay. All right, all right, let's do it again. Just kidding. So we're here, we're gonna go into child's pose. When's the last time you guys did child's pose? 
I don't know why I thought that you were going to speak back to me like Dora, the explorer, but here we are. I haven't done child's pose in a few weeks, so this is probably going to be interesting, but child's pose, if you remember, or if you don't know, you actually don't need to have your knees closed like this. You can have them open a little bit more, fold forward, hands like this, fingers are spread like so. So I try to make almost like a triangle with my feet. So if you see, they're touching together. So I go this way, leaning back with my hips as I'm folding forward and stretching. And the point of this is to make sure I'm feeling my shoulders are getting open or my shoulders are opening up, but I'm thinking my forehead wants to kiss the ground, okay? Even if it doesn't, because you don't want your neck to dip. So this is a great stretch for you are engaging your whole body. Some are being uh, compressed, some are being stretched. And let's bring ourselves to a tabletop position. Okay, we're gonna do some cat cows. You guys remember this, all right? Just clicking, you guys. I don't know if you can hear that, but whew. Two more. Last one. All right, let's walk it back out to child's pose. All right, tuck your toes underneath. We're going to press up into downward dog. Pedal the feet. It's another good stretch for your hamstrings. Now, as you're in downward dog, make sure your fingers are spread forward. You don't want to sink into your shoulders. So your fingers are going to help you support and disperse your weight, right? Because your hands and your feet are holding your weight. Then on top of that, your hips are going to go leaning back and center up. So I'm making more of a triangle. You can even see the triangle shape, right? And on top of that, I'm pressing into the palms of my hands. So that helps me evenly displace my body weight. So nothing is holding too much of my weight and therefore putting too much pressure on a joint, a wrist, my ankles. All right, walk in. We're gonna be here and I'm gonna scooch up a little bit. So we're here. Shake your head yes as you're hanging down. Shake your head no. Swing from side to side. You can grab your elbows. There's no perfect way to swing. Just let your body hang freely. Yep. And now let's roll up. Imagine each vertebrae on your spine is stacking. Roll the shoulders back. And we should be good. Okay, one last stretch, okay? So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your right foot, cross it over your left, reach down. Okay? This is great for those shin splints that you don't want to have. If you want to touch your toes, you can. Come back up and switch feet. And up we go. All right, you guys, that wraps up our stretches for today. I just want you to know that you are loved, you are valued, and I appreciate you. Thank you for tuning in on this midday Monday brain break where we're stretching our body. I'll see you on Thursday when we're doing Come and Create. All right, and this is Namora, and I'm signing off. See you.